Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I remember the first time I ever plugged in a second monitor into my system uh, to effectively be on a dual monitor setup. Uh, it was interesting. Certainly a different set of issues arose. It was good. It's always been good. I've always enjoyed having two monitors connected. And of course, once you have two, it's very difficult to go back to one. Uh, yeah, it's somewhat uh, helpful to have like a virtual desktops in the Mac OS 10 spaces, but there's tons of freeware if it doesn't already come with your operating system that allows you to have a virtual second screen. But having two monitors, in, in many cases, is better than having one monitor if you have the choice. I got an email question from Jonathan in Montreal, Canada. He says, I've been watching some of your review and tech clips on your website and YouTube, and I'm wondering if you can offer some advice. I use my computer for research of text articles, online document viewing, word processing, and email. Pretty basic. So currently, I'm just using a 17-inch LCD, and I'm debating on whether to upgrade to a dual monitor, that is, two 17-inch LCDs or change things around and go for a giant 24-inch or 26, 27-inch screen, possibly from various vendors. Any uh, information would be appreciated. If I had a choice, I would always go with two smaller monitors rather than one large monitor. I'm very lucky to have two large monitors, but the way I've always used a dual monitor setup may be different from the way you may have used a dual monitor setup in the past. Uh, understand though, having two monitors, uh, as I said, there may be some issues that pop up. Some software may not be optimized for two monitors, screen savers. Uh, software may behave differently on a dual monitor setup rather than a single monitor setup. Uh, There's just a variety of, of, of hiccups that you may run into in a dual monitor setup. That being said, I'd still go dual monitor. Uh, Usually I do anything like web browsing, email, any kind of foreground application on this screen. I've got plenty of space, and believe me, I've got plenty of resolution. And then I throw all of my widgets, uh, like chat, IRC, uh, you know, any kind of Skype, any kind of other kind of applications, video feeds that I'm running in the background, goes all the way over here. So I've got you know my weather widgets up here, and I've got the chat, and I'll, uh, everything's on that second monitor because it's not something that I necessarily have to pay attention to. But when I want to pay attention to it, I just slide right over there. Now, of course, as I said, I can do things like in spaces where I can move up and down and all around. Of course, I don't really have anything in my second space right now, but uh, the idea would be uh, to be able to more easily find things at a glance rather than through some kind of keyboard shortcut or maneuvering through virtual desktops. I would always choose that, probably because if you added up the amount of resolution, as many pixels that you'd have on a screen in a 24-inch LCD versus two 17-inch LCDs, you may actually come out with more screen real estate inside or having two 17-inch screens. And then if you use it much like I do, you know, the idea is you could keep those applications open, running in the background, and still have them fully visible. I mean, I, I just kind of got used to it having uh, basically... Uh, push them all down in here, uh, you know, so that this is where I've gotten used to seeing those objects. I couldn't put my, uh, I tried it even when I, I had this other monitor connected to uh, the, 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 the other computer. Um, I tried going back to one monitor, and even though there's a lot of resol screen resolution here going on, like, what is it, 2560 by 1600? It's insane. I love it. But having one monitor, you just don't, uh, just was still a little too cramped. It's too cramped. So what do you guys think? Uh, he's asking for advice. My advice is just go with the dual monitor setup. You won't regret it. As soon as you find your workflow, uh, put all the your favorite background apps on the second screen. Use your primary screen for your you know, foreground stuff. What do you say? Is dual cool? Dual cool? It's here. All right. Dual monitors. Dual monitors. Dual by far. Dual definitely. Better multitasking. Dual, 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 dual. Well, there you go. The community has spoken, and in some cases, they've shouted it. They love it. Duel won't make you drool. It'll make you cool. You know, the geek factor just automatically doubles, not your screen real estate. So don't go with a single monitor that may be larger. Go with another smaller monitor. You will be happy. I believe you will be, Jonathan, no matter where you're from. In this case, Canada. I think people with dual monitor setups in Mexico or you know, the Netherlands or potentially Ireland are equally as happy. I don't know if anybody's done a study on that, but I know that the more screen you have, the more productive you are. That, that, that has been studied. 
Uh, and I can tell you, uh, I am likely going to end up um, not being able to have kids because sitting too close to these things, boy, I tell you, I'd have it no other way though. Let's see here, kids, two 30 inch monitors. Mm, that's a toughie, that's a toughie. Hate to disappoint you, Ponzi, my wife. She's not listening right now. She's probably never going to see this video. <laughs> no matter. There's your advice. Uh, now, if anybody else has got uh, questions, tech-related, hardware, software, internet, whatever, send your questions over my way. It's a good question. It's a common question. I'd love to answer it. Uh, it's a challenging question. I'd love to talk about it. Everybody's got a different opinion. It is technology, after all. We are geeks. Uh, we share top five lists. We share, share shopping advice, help people save money. And our chat room is open all the time. There are hundreds of people sitting in our chat room right now waiting to talk directly to you. And for the most part, they're nice people. Every once in a while, we have some wackos come in, but there's not that many wackos. There are a few, but I'm just saying, be prepared. Hopefully, you're not a wacko, and if you are, find another chat room. This is not the place for you. However, if you want to be a productive member of the community, meet other geeks who uh, are respectful. Guys, don't do me wrong here. I'm talking to the chat room right now. I'm pointing at my monitor even though you can see them chatting below. <clears throat> We're streaming out this video 24 hours a day, seven days a week, typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.